Yeah, old Bursal and Tarvin went up there at the willow tree and they caught some big old catfish and some bluegill and shell daddies down there. Filled up a five gallon bucket full of them. Pretty good and but you know that was pretty good in this button. Good morning folks. Beautiful day today. It's about I believe it's about mid May, somewhere in there. Uh, the water temperature is right around 70 degrees, the surface temperature is. And I believe it's time, and, and I hope I'm able, to catch warmouth. Yeah, warmouth. Here on the Tennessee River, we have warmouth, and they usually bed uh, along rip routes, uh, around docks, uh, treetops. It's down in the water. I've caught them that way. But I love to walk... Uh, on these rip routes and fish specifically for them. That's my target species. However, this could be a multi-species fishing trip right here. I mean, there's no telling what we're going to catch. But my lure for today is going to be a slab-tailed jig. Uh, black emerald is uh, the color right here. Made by Fish Stalker great jig for crappie or most any fish. Uh, I've caught bluegill and shell cracker, bass, whatever swims a hit a slab tail. But the reason I've selected a black one is because warmouth love crawfish. And um, it's just a good color to use. I've caught a lot of warmouth that their little stomachs, after cleaning them, the warmouth, is full of crawfish. So I'm just going to use that along with two pound test line and I'm a little bit excited because I went to Cabela's and bought me a rod, it's a Cabela's rod, real light and, it, and it's uh, rated for two to four to six pound test line it's light as a feather so let's just walk down through here and see what we can catch I hope we can catch some more mouth, maybe it's not too early if not, we'll catch something, I guarantee you. Okay, I'm right here on the lower end of this rip route right here. And, uh, got my slab tail right here. Got to have me some slab sauce with it. I believe in attracting for all fish. Got some on there, now we're ready to fish. I'm going to start right here at the lower end of this real route and see if we got any war mouth head to bite and I hope so it's about that time of the year folks and all I'm going to do and it'll be that it be the same way all the way up this real route I'm just going to make a short pitch like that and I'm going to work the jig back real slow right at the base of those rocks where the drop off actual drop off is and sometimes you can visually see them come out from under a rock and grab the bait they're not going to be able to stand this phase war mouth in here look to action right there on that can y'all see that let me get that camera let's get on in here where we can see the action of that slap Maybe y'all can see that. They gonna think that's a little crawfish. Come back here. That's a little bitty war mouth. Nah, I didn't get that camera on in time, but there he is. Now is that quit? That's a beautiful fish right there, ain't you? Got a little bit of red speck on his gill, gill flap. Got a lot of orange, olive green. He's cute. Now they get a lot bigger than that. This is a very, very aggressive fish. Now in Florida, the further south you go, uh, 
the more abundant these are. I used to catch them on grass shrimp on the Oklawaha River there at uh, Rodman Down when I was a kid with sane grass shrimp. And I'd catch them way, way bigger than my hand is right now. But let's let that little fella go. Beautiful little fish. It may be a little bit early because I've fished a lot of this rip route before I got bit. But uh, I hope we can catch some big ones. They do get big. Let's let right there. There he goes. Number one warmouth. All right. Let's try it right here. I believe I see some bluegill beds right in here, or shell crackers. That's what they look like, but let's see. Huh. We'll check them out in a minute. Let's go see if we got a fish over here for Warmouth. Elmo ain't here today. He's got a corn on the right on the bottom of his foot. Got a tree right here. Laying over in the water. Let me fish around the trunk just a little bit. There we go. That's what we're after, folks. Come here, boy. Come on. I seen that tree and I just about knew there's a war mouth on it somewhere. Now that is a good war mouth. Let's take a look at him. Now this is a good eating fish. I mean war mouth is delicious. Little fish, him carp's going crazy. Now look how pretty that fish is. <laughs> War mouth. Now, I wonder if there's another one around that tree. Ain't that pretty. Now, he's as big as my hand, but they get bigger than this. See the pretty red eyes? Got some red on his gill flap. Hey, let's let him go right here. Watch him swim off. He ain't gonna really swim loose uh, off. He's gonna bust loose. We'll try to watch him. Look at the colors in that fish. There he goes. Okay. Okay, I found me another laying down log right here on the end of this rip route. Let's see if there'll be a war mouth right here on it. Hey, I want y'all to look at this. Now that's unusual. I have, you know what this is? This is a green sunfish. Okay. But it's an albino green sunfish. Hey, hey, come here. I'm going to show y'all and talk about this. I've never caught one that was that color before I got away. Y'all seen that, didn't you? I seen him dart out from under the rock right there. But I've never in my whole life caught one that was that color before. He had to be an albino. Y'all make some comments about that. What about that? That, now that was real unusual. Real unusual, never have done that in my whole life. Cut. Usually when they're that color, they don't survive in nature. If you read about fish, they just shine out too much. They don't hardly ever survive. All right, that was, that was something else. First time for everything, let's catch another one. There he is. Or mouth. I missed him the first time. Let's take a look at him. What a pretty fish right here. But I missed him. <laughs> I missed him the first time. 
and I just kept watching him and I just kept that jig in front of his face and he finally had to have it. <coughs> Not a very big one, but he's a war mouth. Beautiful. Let's let him go. Right here. Let him get back on this rock. I thought I seen two there, but I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm going to put this jig back down there. Uh-oh. I believe I missed another. I'm not for sure if it was a war mouth, but it, it was a hard strike. Let me put it back down in there and we'll see. Yep, war mouth. What about that? They're not being aggressive. Now look at this one. It's got a different color. The reason is this is the female. A lot lighter in color. Quit. Ain't that pretty. We're on the war mouth. I, I tell you, I love this stuff. There ain't no doubt about it. Let's let him go. I found him. There we go. Now this is a little bit better war mouth right here. This is more like I'm talking about. Come on in here. Yep. Now that's a lot better fish. Look at there. Now he's big as my hand or bigger. Check him out. Let me get a hold of him just right. Check him out. Okay. That's the male. See when I squeeze his belly, he pees. That's the male. They're darker. That'd be a good eating. Good eating. Let's let him go right there. And I'm gonna change to a um change my jig right here I'm gonna stay with the same color but they've about wore this one out and we're gonna keep on going down through there and see what we can do there we go golly there's another big war mouth come on in here they're getting bigger now whoa easy Richard Gene was barely hooked. Hooked good enough though. Look at there. Now would that not be a good eating fish? Just too pretty. Red eyes, you know, outskirts, orange, that's the female. Let's let her go. Go on back in there. They're getting bigger. You just have to finesse that jig in and around these rocks. I've done a lot of several jigs. Now, that's why I'm not using the ultimate jig head. My crappie, now it was a bluegill. My crappie jig of choice. I'm just using a standard jig head. And I've bent the hook up. Dead gone bluegills. Look here. Golly bum. There we go. That's the size we're talking about right here. Let's flip him in here. Yep. There we go. They're getting bigger. <laughs> That's the male war mouth right here. Beautiful fish. Talking about some good eating too now, no doubt. Let's let him go. Wow, we that fish fought. Let's see if the females in in there now. Yep, there's another one. Come here. Not as big as the last one, but he's pretty. Pretty fish. 
<laughs> Looks like an aquarium fish, don't it? All right. Thank y'all very much for watching. And remember. Oh, no, let's do it right And remember. Don't fish it when you can. But call it good. Period.